Hi, I have psoriasis. It sucks. It really sucks. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine and any sort of things that I do that I think has really helped me to not overcome because likely I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. So this isn't a how to get perfect skin video because the chances are if you have psoriasis, eczema, acne or any big skin problems like that you're probably gonna have it for the rest of your life you might clear it up for a short amount of time but chances are it might come back again and I haven't been fortunate enough for it to go away in the first place to see what triggers it to come back yet so I might do a whole other video on things that might trigger your psoriasis or your eczema and things like that and talk about the things that I'm doing other than skincare to help prevent that and to prevent it from getting any worse. So if you want to see my skincare routine for psoriasis slash eczema, I don't even know what it is yet. I went to the doctors to get it tested and the results came back negative for psoriasis. So I think it's more on the eczema side, I don't know, or some other dry skin problem. But yeah, this is my dry skin eczema psoriasis routine for my skincare. So let's get into it. So obviously the first thing that I do before anything else is remove my makeup always. I never ever ever go to bed without removing my makeup first because no matter how perfect your skin is you're only adding to the problem if you don't remove your makeup because obviously it gets into your pores, it irritates your skin, it's not even meant to be on your face, you're not really meant to have anything on your face. So obviously if you do wear makeup you have to remove it every single day. It's just as simple as that. I use the makeup wipes. Um, I'm not sure what the brand is off the top of my head, but it basically has tea tree oil in it. It's really soft. It smells really good. They're really, really moisturizing and it gets rid of the makeup really easy, really quickly. And I love them. I know a lot of people don't like makeup wipes because they think they're unhygienic, which I don't really get because I don't know. I just don't think it's that big of a problem maybe I'm wrong I probably am but yeah that's the way I do it and I've never had a problem with it maybe I should stop using makeup wipes and move on to like coconut oil or something like that but every single time I use a face oil or something like that to remove my makeup with like coconut oil I break out every single time so I think it just depends on you as a person so that's why I just stick to makeup wipes or other forms of makeup remover that aren't oil based. Okay, so the first thing that I actually use is the Naube, Naube, Naube Natural and Organic Gel to Milk Cleanser. So I use this, this is really cool. It kind of looks like honey, if I can show you. Um, it starts off like this gel kind of consistency and then it foams up and turns into like this really milky foamy sort of consistency which is really good it's really sensitive and really good on my skin and ever since I've been using it my skin has been softer less red and also I use it with lukewarm water to prevent my skin getting irritated from hot water or cold water you should always use lukewarm water despite what they say about hot water first then cold water warm water or warm luke or lukewarm to warm water to more cooler water but never cold or hot water especially if you have bad skin um like me and i have no problem with calling it bad skin because you know it's bad skin it's sore it's itchy it's horrible it's bad skin you know it's not all about how it looks and i'm actually going to do a whole other video on how it affects my lifestyle my mental health my relationships and things like that so if you want that let me know in the comments below and i'll do that i then go in oh it's tipped up with some tea gel this is actually meant for hair i think oh i can't read it yeah so for the treatment of flaky scalp disorders which i also have psoriasis on my head my face my body my back my sometimes you know it happens uh with people and on my behind as well which is fun also on my legs and arms and just basically everywhere i don't really have the plaque psoriasis which usually is the big ones that cover a vast majority of your body but i do get the gut gutate 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 psoriasis 
ones which are basically like the little spots and I get them everywhere. I basically just use this on the spots only. I massage some of that in onto the spots and leave it on for I think seven minutes several minutes so about six seven minutes or something and use this three times a week so i've been doing that and sometimes if you wash it put it on leave it for six minutes you can also do it again if you feel like it's necessary and the dry skin is really coarse then use this it's fantastic it does smell a bit weird but i kind of like the smell of tea gel it smells really fresh okay so after i've washed my face i always 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 moisturize and I use the Child's Farm Baby Moisturiser, which is £4 from Boots, and it's absolutely amazing. It's really soft, really soothing on the skin, really gentle. Obviously, it's made for babies, so of course it's going to be gentle. I did used to use the Johnson's Baby Oil, or Baby... Sh not Baby Oil, the Baby Lotion, but it was kind of oily on my skin, and I didn't like that. This doesn't really make your face as oily. Obviously, it's still a moisturiser, so it does leave your face a bit moisturised, I guess. <laughs> but I do that before I go to bed. All of my skincare I usually do before I go to bed, so when I wake up, I don't really have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. My skin is usually really fresh and really clean and soft and smooth and ready to put makeup on. Sometimes I will go into the bathroom and use the Now Bay um, gel to milk um, face wash again if I feel like it's really groggy and horrible. Or usually I will just wash it with water, towel dry it, dab it, and then get on with my makeup. So after I moisturised, I then go in with the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. And this is really good for tightening and brightening your skin and leaving it really smooth and really soft. Once again, all of this is before bed, so I don't have to worry about it in the morning because it's really time consuming. But it is really nice just to get that me time and it just, yeah. I don't really know where I'm going with the sentence. <laughs> okay, I think that is it for my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed. I don't think I forgot anything. I'm pretty sure I haven't. But if I have, if you think I probably missed out something that I should use. Oh yeah, chapstick. I always use chapstick on my lips because I get dry lips. As with everything else. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any more advice for me or other people with psoriasis, eczema or whatever, leave it down below so that... I can view it and I can get help from you guys and we can share our experiences and talk about it and yeah. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below, this is really important, if you want to be featured or if you want your experiences featured in a video that I'm going to do to talk about how psoriasis affects everything else from lifestyle to mental health to relationships to all of that. So make sure you leave your experiences down below so we can, like, vibe together. I don't know anymore. Okay, I'm lost. I'm done. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on for more videos from me in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I almost knocked my phone off everything. I've just um spilt this and this shit is expensive. There's literally nothing left in this. There's probably a dribble for one one more go. What do you mean, isn't it? It's a face oil. <laughs> it's expensive and I just finished doing a skincare routine thing. I thought I put the lid on properly and now most of it's all down the sink. I'm sad.